my goodness. Sounds like the radio trapped inside a carousel, but tuned in between stations. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're going to be listening to Drone Our Glitchscapes in this first look video, new release from Gothic Instruments. The Drone R series continues. Gothic Instruments has released yet another incredible detailed sound design sample set with multiple layers so you can conjure and create your own soundscapes library downloads is 3.87 gigabytes it's a sample set of broken glitches soft radio atmospheres and ominous lingering background noises sound design instrument is in the dronar engine with a high mid low and layer effects contains 204 snapshot presets with strings synths guitars other sounds that blend with the glitchscapes. Library normally sells for 66 bucks. If uh, you want to check it out, I think there's a special intro price for like 50 some dollars. Or if you've purchased any other Gothic Instruments libraries, check your email or your account. You're probably able to get a loyalty discount to make this an extremely affordable library. Library does require the full version of 5.8. Eight contact. I'll be sure to include a link to take you straight over to Sample Library Reviews Glitchscape's first look page, where we'll have any of the official developers' videos and demos for you to check out, as well as a link to take you straight over to Time Space exclusive retailer for Drone Art Glitchscapes. This is a first look video. I've only loaded up the instrument and did a batch resave pretty quick, and also followed the instructions, as this one has snapshot presets, making it extremely easy to navigate all of the different sounds and samples curated from the different talented composers. Uh, it loads up with one snapshot called Kill Shot, and I have my palette MIDI controller set up, so I can use both my hands to turn some knobs and adjust all of my different uh, layers here. An effects layer, high layer, mid layer, low layer, and intensity and movement. And yes, it looks like we're ready to try this guy out. Okay, just from moving those around in real time, holding a chord down, I think you get a, start to get a feel of what the instrument's capable of if you're not already a Dronar user. The library loads up different sample sets for all four of these layers with an intensity and movement controls that affect uh, the instrument signal path. It's called Alone in Space. Just going to randomly check out a handful of these to share with you. Yeah, 
This might be the most adventurous sound set of all the Dronars. I'm always impressed by the sound design from the talented uh, creators of the Gothic Instruments Dronar series, but this one is pretty adventurous. Space Interference, pretty aptly named. We're uh, browsing through the Alien presets. Pretty freaky. One thing you'll notice is that the different curated presets by the you know, talented composers uh, don't always use all of the sample sets. This one, for instance, only uses the effects in our mids. Let's move along to the atmospheres, unearthed blooms, cavern bending. These are pretty cool. I think, um, Yeah, we're just a couple in, and these already seem so unique to the Dronar uh, collection. Freaks preset uh, folder. Yeah, that's fun. Atonal nausea is the name of that one. Bionic lions. Tension folder. Well, a little bit of a swell there. This one's called the Evil Omen. The 
looks like we've got a collection of video terrors presets in a dark folder. What I like to do with these is just turn them up so I can hear each one individually. Play through them almost like I'm trying to hear the samples. This one's only got one for the lows. most abstract, I believe, of the drone R modules that I've previewed. Yeah, instant um, atmospheric scoring, just utilizing layers, fading things in and out. Pretty impressive. Uh, bang for the buck in the ability to create such tension textures. Yeah, really nice. More door, more door or we gotta hear it. So much twisting craziness going on. This is the fear presets. This one's Sleeping Beauty. clicks I think it's my screen recording software okay let's try 
Let's move on to the horror presets. Yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Dark vertigo. Now, I just want to make a note. The initials here are the composer or sound designer that curated these. These are AC. I'm almost sure that's Alessandro Camasio, who had done a lot of work on the other genre modules. And uh, I'm not surprised that I'm really liking his sound design. He's got uh, he's got a temperament, um, and I really appreciate like his point of view with sound design. <laughs> Giant electric roaches. Very aptly named. No radio. <laughs> so wacky. Let's move along. Leads. See the JS on leads. That denotes that it's a uh, another composer or sound designer. Oh, this one is great. Boards of Lancashire. I'm going to have to make a note. I'm going to start a track with this one. Pretty fun. Yeah. Let's move it along. Old tech. Oh, this one's great. Not sure who the composer is. I've got to look it up, but these look really promising. Yeah. Super 8. Let's 
let's move on. We'll move over to the movements. This is ambient movements. Broken Hill Blues. Yeah. Here's a kill shot that we started with. Fuzzy photos. Let's listen to that. <clears throat> lot going on okay binary visions Moving along, another set of pads. me a little bit of uh, some of the Blade Runner synth stuff, except this is all done with sound design. I didn't at all talk about the rest of the uh, panels. You've got controls for each of the sample sets for the signal flow. You do attack decay, as well as some EQing effects, tone, 
stereo. Got LFO, some f- additional effects with the, the distortion. And then you've got sense for reverb, as well as an arpeggio, arpeggiator. So anytime you hear this pulsing, my wonder is, is it the arpeggiator? And it is. So you can see everything that we've listened to can already be taken out so much further with uh, with all these different expert controls, effects, LFOs, and arpeggiation. Yeah, this one's got a neat heartbeat right here. Got another folder of strange. Let's check these out. Oh my goodness. It sounds like the radio trapped inside a carousel, but tuned in between stations. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that um, they could have called the uh, Psycho Space. That one is really nice, too. I really love that one. usually I'm pretty impressed with the Dronar uh, libraries. And this is the kind of tool that I am absolutely going to go to for any kind of unser score when it comes to dark, ominous, horror, suspense. This is just such a unique sample set in the Dronar engine. I think it's going to be really powerful for composers uh, both film scoring composers, episodic composers, trailer composers. Uh, this is just such a fresh sample set that, um, yeah, I don't know if I could say enough good things about it with the big exclamation point being uh, it's very cost effective. 
Thanks so much for checking a little time out of your day to check out the video. I'll be sure to include a link to take you over to Sample Library Reviews, Drone R, Glitch Gapes module page. I'll have the demos, any other review videos or developer videos I find, as well as a link below to the Time Space Drone R, Glitch Gapes module purchase page if you want to go ahead and jump right in. Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, are you going to be picking up Glitchscapes? Is this uh, going to be an addition to your toolkit for scoring? And how are you going to be using it? Please comment in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor. Deal compressor.